Okay, I'm Thomas Ling, a partner co-trainer with Heineken Malaysia's Star Academy Experience. It's an annual nationwide uh, initiative in ensuring uh, a quality assurance in everyday drinking experience. Uh, we travel to major cities in Malaysia and at every uh, stop uh, we aim to target about 100 attendees. So on average, we, our targeted amount would be on an average of five to 600 uh, people uh, per program initiative. Yeah, feedback that we have received uh, thus far has been uh, very constructive and very encouraging. Uh, this uh, Star Academy initiative provides an interactive platform for us to connect uh, with bartenders and professional FMB service in their respective capacities. And uh, part of this program, we get to engage with them live in sharing with them the fundamentals of uh, beer knowledge, of beer service, and also. Uh, helping them sharpen their beer handling and beer service skills. Uh, beer is, I guess, uh, the world's one of the world's oldest beverages, and it's always uh, very versatile in terms of flavor expressions. And on the local context in Malaysia, uh, beer uh, arguably is the most uh, popular and most consumed uh, alcoholic beverage profile, uh, given its uh, I mean, relaxed approach. Its uh, refreshing flavours and its adaptability, uh, how it adapts well to local uh, cuisine uh, and I think uh, the segment uh, is growing healthily uh, in contrast with other alcoholic beverages and uh, one of the main focus of Star Academy is how we can uh, position and grow and uh, share the culture of beer drinking uh, in greater aspects and uh, greater uh, forms and facilities with local consumers at large. Yeah. Uh, yes, I believe uh, beer essentially uh, is a uh, melting pot. It is one of the beverages that is very unassuming. You know, it, it has an image that is uh, a bit more approachable and friendly, perhaps uh, not as uh, uptight or as uh, conservative. All right, uh, in contrast to wine or whiskey or other forms of spirits. Uh, beer is always uh, very communal, very relaxed and of course uh, enjoyed uh, very simply and comfortably uh, with friends and family at large. Yeah, uh, arguably beer has been uh, drink uh, around I mean, since time immemorial and uh, given its uh, ingredients uh, that make up a beer you know, uh, in contrast to uh, wine or coffee or tea which are essentially uh, beverages from a uh, single, uh, what we call, origin or a single uh, content. Uh, wine made from grapes, coffee made from respective beans and tea uh, from leaves. Uh, whereas beer has uh, four main ingredients that uh, could uh, express itself in a variety of characters. There are different types of grains, be it barley, wheat, rice, and of course, there's the element of hops, which gives beer its uh, contrast of uh, aromatic flavours and of course, different levels of bitterness and freshness and essentially different strains of yeast, which also would add texture and flavour uh, to the beer. And I believe in that aspect, uh, beer has been evolving uh, organically through, through the ages and it still plays a very relevant and integral role in, uh, in terms of evolving with local food cultures uh, and aspects of beverage enjoyment. So essentially, uh, the beer foam all right, plays an integral role in preserving the freshness of the beer. Uh, so foam is essentially protection. Right, so uh, important, uh, a, level, a certain level of foam uh, needs to be achieved to ensure the beer that is being served is uh, in its ideal uh, temperature condition and thus uh, flavours being uh, I mean, preserved in an optimum level. So generally for lager, the lighter style of beers, a uh, thicker head of foam needs to be achieved right, to preserve its uh, lean, its fresh, its crisp style. And of course for ale category of beers, it being more robust, uh, uh, thinner level of foam uh, uh, should be ideal right, because the beer already has its uh, complex characters uh, which will carry on its own. I understand everything what they are teaching us. So everything what I know now is 
to, to get me more experience on the how to pouring perfect pint for our customer. Really good. I learned a lot of knowledge about pouring the beers and then how to serve properly for the customer about the beer. It was it was wonderful. The speakers have a lot of uh, information to give everything. So I did learn how to make a perfect pint. Ah!